What's up guys, my name is Ryan with Horton Barbell and in this video we're going to talk about pull-up bar diameter. Now if you're looking into pull-up bar diameter, it's usually for one of two different reasons. Either A, you're in the market for a pull-up bar or a squat rack and you're trying to figure out what dimension is going to work best for you or you're thinking about making your own pull-up bar and you want to make sure you get the dimensions right in your own DIY build. So when I first started looking into pull-up bar diameters and compare and contrast and see what was out there as far as different sizes goes, Turns out there's a pretty set industry standard across fitness equipment, whether it's a wall-mounted pull-up bar or whether it's on a rack like I have right here. A standard pull-up bar is gonna be 1.25 inches. That's almost all the way across the board. Now the original Army Combat Test, they used a 1.5 inch pull-up bar diameter, but that always had a little bit of variance that was allowed with that test. But anymore, if you're going to go out and buy yourself, whether it's online or whether it's uh, at a big box store, a standard pull-up bar is going to be 1.25 inches. Now, with my squat rack, I'm actually pretty fortunate because this actually came with two pull-up bars. So the only difference to a standard pull-up bar in diameter is going to be a fat grip pull-up bar. It's going to be a lot thicker in diameter. The thicker diameter helps train your grip a little bit more when you're doing any kind of exercises where you're hanging off of the bar. But it also is going to have a very set industry standard as well. So a fat bar pull-up, you're going to be looking at two inches. And again, that's almost across the board on any wall-mounted pull-up bar or any rack. Now, if you're thinking about building your own pull-up bar, what you have to be careful of when you go to buy your equipment, when you're buying your bars, whether it's at Lowe's or wherever the case may be, you have to look at the inner diameter versus the outer diameter of the bar. So the outer diameter, that's what you're looking at for the 1.25 inches. You just have to be careful of that because when you go online, you start looking at the different diameters, they'll list both of them just making sure you're picking the right one or you may end up with a pull-up bar that's a little bit of a size that you're really not looking for. So now let's talk about pull-up bar length. So pull-up bar length is actually going to be also a very set standard across the board uh, and the reason for that is especially if you're getting a pull-up bar that's attached to a squat rack, squat racks are all going to be roughly about four feet wide and the reason for that is because a squat rack needs to be able to accommodate a barbell. Barbells are all the same length Squat racks want the barbell to fit into the rack a certain way, and so racks are a certain length. So the pull-up bar obviously has to go along with the width of the rack. Now, if you're getting a wall-mounted pull-up bar, it's also going to be about the same. They basically stay in line with a squat rack width. Um, a lot of times, some people will have squat stands, and they'll put their wall-mounted pull-up bar right above their squat stand. So I think they try to keep it relatively the same as you would get out of a squat rack. So if you're building your own, you're probably looking at a 1.25 inch diameter for a standard size, a two inch for a fat grip, and then for a length, I would go roughly around that four feet mark. So what if you only have the ability to get one pull-up bar, but you really want to have the benefit of having a standard size pull-up bar and a fat grip pull-up bar? The answer actually is pretty easy. So there's a product that's called Fat Grips, and what Fat Grips are is they're a, a silicone mold that basically will wrap around the bar and allows you to turn any standard size bar into a fat grip pull-up bar. And they're not just good for pull-ups as well, you can use them for dumbbells, barbells, anything that you wanna fatten up that grip on the bar to get a little extra forearm grip work out of it. Highly recommend getting yourself a pair of fat grips if you don't have a pair of them already. They're really inexpensive. You're looking at somewhere about 10, 15 bucks for a pair of fat grips. And again, they've got crazy versatility. You can add them to a pull-up bar or dumbbells or a barbell and get really good form grip work out of them. If you wanna pick up a, a pair, I'm gonna add a link in the description where you can pick up your own. Hope that video helped you out a little bit. If it did, do me a huge favor. Go down and hit the like button. Subscribe if you wanna see some more content like this or go over to HortonBarbell.com where we've got tons of information on not just garage gym, but also sports performance, weight training, you name it, it's on.